everyone. This is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Colossians chapter four, verses five through six. They read as follows. Be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. There is this saying that Christians should always be able and ready and willing to share their story, to share their testimony, meaning they should be able to share the account of why they profess Jesus Christ as Lord at any time to anyone. I'm pretty sure this is because of what we read in 1 Peter, that we should always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks the reason for the hope that we profess. That if we're in the grocery store, at the pharmacy, taking a jog and we take a break in the park, we're walking our dog, we're at work, we're in our neighborhoods, we should always be ready to give an account of why we profess the Lord as Lord and Savior, of why we are the Lord's, of why we follow Jesus. But then he writes something which is very much in line with our verses today. And he says, though, to do all of this with gentleness and respect. But what does that look like? Or rather, what doesn't that look like? I was watching an episode of The Chosen one time. Yes, I know I mentioned The Chosen sometimes too much. It's because I love it. But I was watching an episode of The Chosen and this man had invited the disciples and Jesus to stay in his home. And he said that this one particular room was haunted. Jesus jokes around and says, oh, I'll take that one. And later on, his disciples asked, well, why didn't you correct him when he said that? Jesus told them, you don't go correcting every single little thing a new convert says. You have to be careful with what you share with them, with what you correct them on. Which brings us to our verse today. We read in our verse that we are to be wise and make the most of every opportunity we have with outsiders. And you may ask, okay, well, how do we become wise? And the verse tells us we are to make the most of every opportunity by letting our conversation be full of grace seasoned with salt so we know how to answer everyone, meaning so we know how to answer everyone in the way in which they can respond to it, in the way in which they need to hear it. We don't throw the Bible at people. We don't point out every single sin in their lives all the time. We don't tell them how every ideology they have is against the word of God. Instead, we almost have to consider who we're talking to and form the conversation in a way that they can receive. For instance, we don't tell a four-year-old in lofty scientific terms the breakdown of a DNA helix structure. And we don't speak gaga goo goo language like we would to an infant to a room full of intellectuals and PhDs. No, we are to make the most of every opportunity by recognizing what opportunity is in front of us. And we are to fill our conversations with grace, seasoned with salt, and salt preserves, it flavors, it makes better so that we know how to answer everyone in the way that they can respond to, in the way that they can understand. I had to learn this lesson because sometimes when you're on fire for God, you want other people to be on fire too. But I had to remember and the Holy Spirit taught me that People come to Christ for different reasons at different times and different ways, and we have to be patient with them and let the Holy Spirit draw them as he sees fit. I also had to learn that one plants, another waters, but God, he gets the increase. And sometimes, yes, he may have us to give someone a scripture, to pray for them, to share our testimonies, but other times he may just have us give them a smile, to give them an encouraging word, to help them out without sharing the gospel in words. He knows how each person will respond to him when and at what place. We should rather just be focused on being wise in our conversation, making opportunities. Yes, if he prompts us to share something about him, but really all the time just giving grace. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for your word, God, which is so tangible and which helps us, Lord, know how to answer anyone at any time, God, in any way, Lord, in the way in which they most certainly can receive and understand, God. Give us grace, Lord, abundant grace, overflowing grace, Lord, in our hearts, Lord, in our souls, Lord, that we may flow that out to others, God, that we may give that to others, God, that we may know how to answer anyone, Lord. Thank you, God, for blessing our mouths, Lord, to be seasoned with salt, for blessing us, Lord, to make the most of every opportunity, Lord, that we may give you glory, God. And thank you, God, for blessing us, Lord, to represent you well, God, to not be too little, not too much, Lord, to just do what you instruct us to do because you know that person, God. You know what is going on in their hearts, God. Help us to just be your vessels for your glory in Jesus' name. Thank you guys for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys. Have a great day. God loves you very, very much. I love you guys very, very much. Thank you so much for watching. 
I will see you next time and God bless you.